Hey, welcome to this radio video, and this is a second video concerning sporadic e-skip and a very unusual phenomena that uh, brings lots of interesting signals and just amazing propagation sometimes. So here's a tool that I use also. I've uh, explained that you know I like listening to channel six, CB channel six, because often when sporadic e-skip starts, that's where you'll start receiving uh, you know those strong kind of very powerful uh, technically illegal CB ears that uh, you know take the skip and uh, propagate through it and you know it's an indication very often that there's sporadic e -skip. of course when there's high solar activity it's also uh, possible but um, here's a tool that will actually help you also understand if sporadic e -skip exists dxmaps.com so here you have a world map and that map will show, first of all, in the basics, all the activity in different bands on around the world. So, for example, you can go to uh, low frequency or HF for shortwave and say, well, I want to see, is there lots of activity on 40 meters? And then you click 40 meters in the list here on the top, and you see all the signals from 40 meters around the world. Now, you see here, concentrating lots of signals in Europe. Uh, a little in North America, but you know, as we get closer to uh, the evening, we'll have more. What's cool also that you can go on the top here and change the map for whatever region you want. So here, if we click Europe, here's the Europe map. Look at all these signals, and it's pretty cool because you can click on the map and have what stations were actually communicating, the distance, the frequency used, the mode used. Very, very interesting stuff. So depending on what you're listening to, you can check that out. Now, you can also, if you go back to the map, check out sporadic, sporadic e-skip by clicking either the 10 meter band, which will show you activity. So it's here it says that there's kind of some activity, lots of activity on 10 meters around Europe. Probably sporadic e, because if we look at North America, Look at a little bit on the west coast, just a few signals on the east, but nothing much. So you see that it's quiet. So you can also check out if it's sporadic e-skip, because very often you can click VHF and up and check out 50 megahertz, which is the 6 meter band. And look, is there propagation? So here there seems to be a little patch, two stations are communicating. Let's take a look at Europe once again. Look at Europe on six meters, tons of signals. And that is an indication that as we speak now, Europe is full of spurtic east signals on six meters, 50 megahertz. And you'll say, well, how do you know it's spurtic E? When you click on the map and have the signals, have the stations that communicate with each other and the frequency, look here on the right, it says SPE, sporadic E skip. So there's E-skip, multi-hop E-skip, but there's sporadic E-skip. Sporadic E-skip is the phenomenon that I'm talking about. So you know that it's sporadic E-skip mostly. And of course, you can go by frequency and see the activity if sporadic E-skip is actually propagating uh, on the different frequencies. So here you see 70 megahertz, uh, 2 meters. Usually, sporadic E-skip does not go up to 2 meters and uh, will tend to stay below 100 megahertz or so. And so this is a great tool, not only for sporadic E, because you can also see what the kind of propagation we are at. So for example, if I want to see North America, I want to see shortwave, and I want to know is 20 meters active right now for North America, I'll click. And here's 20 meters, tons and tons of signals, a lot crossing the ocean to Europe, but lots of signals on the continent also. You want to see what stations they are, you just click and look at what stations, what mode they're using. So here, CW, uh, single sideband, radio teletype, all the modes used by the different stations, what frequency they are using right now as they're communicating. So you have an idea also at the same time of what DX that you have. So for example here, a VA2 stations from here, Quebec, uh, contacted OK2RZ, which is I believe in Belgium, if I'm not mistaken. So if that's um, the case, or at, if not Belgium, somewhere in Europe, uh, I will tune it. So here I 
just going to take it out and uh, and you see the time by the way so this is a few minutes ago so let's check out here the frequency used was 14248 I'm going to tune my radio to 14248 upper sideband and see if I can hear station yep I'm hearing it so you see you can use this tool to also see what stations are on the air so a uh, great tool for sporadic E knowing when sporadic E is happening but also a great tool to know what frequency ranges are actually working if you think the band is dead take a look at this map and you'll see that the bands are never never dead there's always a frequency range now this is concentrated on amateur radio bands so I gotta warn you but um, you know, it gives you an idea of you know for example if 20 meters working well 14 megahertz probably 19 meter band international shortwave is probably in good conditions so uh, check this out I'll post the link to this website um, in the description below the video it's easy to remember dxmaps.com hope you enjoy my videos and this little series on Spartaki and propagation in general thank you for watching